Not long after the allure is King Hoon, Zhang Hanlian's new film was released, and the heroine's appearance is not inferior to Yuan Bingyan. It will be completed in March 2022, and it has been a full year now. According to the normal schedule, Quing Cheng Yu Quing Huan should start at the beginning of the year. However, due to the influence of the heroine's public opinion, although the play has recently been reviewed, the play has been quietly promoted. But neither the platform nor the netizens support the broadcast. The former is in the film list, and the title of the play is not mentioned at all. The direction of the latter's style criticism is mostly disagreed. In fact, as an IP adaptation, this drama has the potential to explode. The modern doctor travels through the era of overhead, and loves and hates the domineering prince Ruai. The 18-year-old gap is interesting. It can be seen from the exposed Reuters that the crew has restored the framework of the original work to a certain extent. Yuan Bingayan has a shot of wearing white clothes, which proves that time travel is really good. The original book tells the story of a modern academic master who accidentally came to an era that has never appeared in history. Incarnate into the eldest daughter of the snake and scorpion in the eyes of the world, in order to be able to escape the conspiracy. Feng King Huan pretended to be crazy and foolish, while secretly cultivating her own abilities. In the process, the prince who was prejudiced against her fought against King Chen. Gradually attracted by her changes, the two had twists and turns. In the end, they were able to stay together forever. The combination of the domineering prince and the black belly doctor made IP popular in Ding Software. As a custom romance drama, the drama originally chose Zhang Hanlian and Yuan Bingyan as the male and female protagonists. Presumably because of the shock brought about by the age difference between the two, the post-70s and post-90s collaborated. There is a full 18-year age difference between the two, and there were constant disputes during the official announcement. Until the filming of the program ended, everyone's discussions did not stop. It can be seen that if the original route is followed, the show will be popular, if not, at least. It's just a pity that it hasn't been released for a long time anyway. I missed the opportunity of a drama, but fortunately Zhuang Hanlian has other opportunities. Now that I am over 40, I can still work hard in the romance drama market. After cooperating with Zia Ahu, the new heroine of juniors like Tan Songyan and Yuan Bingyan became the middle-aged goddess Kin Lan. Zhang Hanlian walked back to the comfort zone of casting, and his partner Kin Lan took over the project of Goose Blood City. The two heroines have their own charm. As soon as the news that Who is Beyond Time and Space will be made into a film and television movie, the audience who have read the plot summary frowned. The hero's uncle violated the underage heroine, and the heroine's father is tracking down the hero's uncle. An accident caused him to fall off a cliff and die, so the hero's mother morally kidnapped the heroine. It is necessary to have a child, otherwise the heroine's father will be exposed and his career will be over. In desperation, the hostess had to go overseas after giving birth to a child. In this way, after many years, when the heroine retires and returns to China, she can still reunite with the heroine. This design is more explosive than you ruining my whole family, but I can still fall in love with you. Sprinkling dog blood everywhere is probably the favorite operation of middle-aged urban dramas. Even if the show is spoiled, it will change some outrageous plots. Even the title of the show has been changed to Dancing City, but the core elements probably will not change. After all, isn't the biggest selling point of dog blood dramas the plot trend beyond the imagination of the public? Looking at Zhang Hanlian's anthology routines in recent years, in fact, he has also explored many themes that audiences love. He and Li Zia Oren also ran with the ball in this life with you, chasing his wife to the crematorium. In this cooperation with Kin Lan, the other party's goddess image has not changed for many years. Kin Lan's appearance is an orthodox ancient beauty, with thick eyebrows and big eyes. The facial lines are smooth and high-folded, and the parallel double eyelids can maximize the enlargement of the eyes. In addition, she has been filming for so many years, and the eyes between her brows and eyes have long been tempered. Daily life is self-disciplined enough to take care of oneself in middle age and attend red carpet events. Her temperament is no less than that of a popular little flower. As the saying goes, popularity nourishes people, and now every drama is still a heroine of Kin Lan. She has arrogance, but it's just from her appearance. Even if Yuan Bingyan is several years younger than her, she may not be as stunning as her. So, are you optimistic about this combination of middle-aged big flowers? 02. Zhao Liang cuts Jade Rabbit Princess out of the circle, the heroine of life. Q Detective is a suspense variety show hosted by Xenon Li Weijia. Each program will invite different celebrity guests to explore various mysterious cases together. In the latest episode of the show, Zhao Liang appeared as a guest and played the role of Princess Jade Rabbit, sparking heated discussions among netizens. Zhao Liang's cosplay this time is the role of Guang Sunli in The Glory of the King. 
She wears a bright orange skirt and pedicure hakuma, side braids with blonde hair accessories, and white bunny ears. She's cute and exotic. This outfit was specially customized for her by the program group, because Zhao Liang herself likes rabbits very much. Zhao Liang's appearance of the Jade Rabbit Princess is not only beautiful, but also authorized by the Jade Rabbit Princess in the 86 edition of Journey to the West. The Jade Rabbit Princess in the original book is played by actor Li Mifen, who is also the goddess in the minds of many people back then. Zhao Liang and Li Mifeng have similar round faces and big eyes, both exude a pure and sweet temperament. As the queen of TV dramas, Zhao Liang rarely participates in variety shows. This time she was able to star in Cute Detective, which also surprised and looked forward to many fans. Zhao Liang not only has good looks, but also has strong acting skills. She has become the champion of ratings by virtue of Lu Xian biography, A Thousand Bone Flowers, Chu Qiao biography and other dramas. This year, she is expected to win the Magnolia Award. Kama has become today's top anchor through hard work. Not only is she successful in her career, she is also very happy emotionally. Last year she married Feng Shao Feng and gave birth to a son. After her comeback this year, she still maintains her girlish appearance and figure, which is enviable. In short, the Jade Rabbit Princess played by Zhao Liang in Cute Detective is very stunning, showing multifaceted charm. I believe she will also have a wonderful performance in the show, let us look forward to it together. What do you think of Zhao Liang's Jade Rabbit Princess look? Welcome to leave a comment. 03. The box office of King of the Sky broke 600 million inches 10 days, all thanks to Wang Yibo. Netizen, feeling sorry for the test pilot. The movie King of the Sky was released for 10 days, and the real-time box office has exceeded 600 million, which is comparable to the box office of the comedy movie Unfamiliar. It was officially announced that the two-hour pre-sale box office broke 10 million, making it the fastest film to break 10 million inches pre-sale on May 1st. The total box office in the mainland is expected to be 786 million. According to the current attendance rate, the box office may exceed 1 billion. Full stop. Compared with the films released on May 1st in the same period, the attendance rate of King of the Sky is as high as 7%, which is much higher than that of Stranger Life in so many years. The attendance rate is the ratio of the number of attendants to the total number of seats. In a sense, an excellent film has a high attendance rate, and vice versa. Therefore, the attendance rate is one of the important criteria for measuring the quality of a movie. The high attendance rate of Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Slam Dunk is relatively easy to understand, and parents usually watch it with their children. Why did a more serious subject like King of the Sky reap such a broad box office on May 1st? Is it because the lead actor is traffic star Wang Yibo? Of course not. If you look at the comments carefully, you will find that from the perspective of the actors in the whole movie, the audience is all looking at Hu Jun. They have given unanimous praise to Hu Jun's performance, while Wang Yibo's performance is mixed. The box office success of King of the Sky is a sign of the film industry's recovery, and it also benefits from the public's attention to unsung heroes such as military themes and test pilots. Looking through the comments of King of the Sky, many netizens are very interested in the profession of test pilot. There is a scene in the film that makes me cry. The home of emerging test pilots. Sometimes knowing the ending does not make people overly scared, but it makes people more confident and try their best to try all the trials and errors, thus increasing the chance of success. Each of their failures cost their lives. This is a painful lesson and deserves everyone's respect. That sort of movie would be a good place to be in 11th gear, but our hunger for air combat and flying planes is always there. This is the unexpected surprise that King of the Sky brought to the audience on May 1st. The popularity of many movies was unexpected, such as Wolf Warrior 2. The box office of the two films will exceed 5 billion. The 4D look and feel of King of the Sky not only allows the audience to experience the unique sensory experience of flying an airplane, but also allows the audience to understand the unique profession of a test pilot, which is a progressive film of this type. The last time I learned about an unknown profession was a documentary called The Last Bang Bang. So what kind of occupation is a test pilot, and what is their main job? A test pilot is an aircraft pilot who specializes in flight testing of aircraft. This is a very dangerous profession. In the 50s the test pilot fatality rate was as high as one test pilot per week. Test pilots challenge the performance boundaries of aircraft, so they are called the closest people to death in peacetime. The main job of the test pilot is to find out the problems of the aircraft through his own personal experience. Test pilots usually participate in the work from the early stage of aircraft design, and provide opinions on the design scheme from the perspective of operation and safety. Famous Chinese test pilots include Wu Keming, Li Zhonghua, Liu Gang, Li Guon, etc. 
The heroic deeds of Chinese test pilots are fascinating to watch. In 1952, for the needs of the war to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea, on the basis of poverty, three Air Force pilots sent 473 repaired aircraft to the blue sky in just nine months with their fighting spirit sacrificed their lives. In 1956, test pilot Wu Keming drove the first domestically produced J-5 aircraft, risking a crash to fly three extreme subjects including HG overload, one test flight, and engine parking in the air, helping China's aviation to go global jet age. Flight test work places high demands on pilots. The biggest difference between test pilots and ordinary pilots is that the aircraft they fly have never been tested. The overall quality of test pilots should be high, not only should they have profound theoretical knowledge, superb flying experience and skills, but more importantly, they should have good psychological quality and honest personality. It is precisely because the profession of test pilot is so respected that people can't help but worship it when they hear it, so the reputation of the movie King of the Sky has been saved to some extent. We have many excellent test pilots, and many heroic deeds of test pilots. They have promoted the development of the aerospace industry of the motherland. In their hearts, the plane is far more important than their own lives. When they are in danger, they will choose to protect them as much as possible. Aircraft choose to sacrifice themselves. However, in the movie, they didn't really show the heroic attitude of the test pilots, they didn't show their serious work attitude and demanding work style, they were just purely sensational and emotional, which in itself is a kind of disrespect to the pilots. Test pilot don't understand. On the first day of the film's broadcast, the website scored 7.0 points. One week after the broadcast, the score dropped directly to 6.7 points, which is enough to show the audience's disappointment with the film. Out of respect and admiration for the test pilots, the audience couldn't bear to give this movie a low score. This is the kindness, loveliness and respect of the audience, but it is definitely not to condone the production level of the film industry. I hope that filmmakers who want to take advantage of the popularity of test pilots can also show their work attitude and high requirements for themselves, otherwise it will be a blasphemy to this profession.